Hey paper dolls, welcome back to my channel. So I am here today to do a flip through of the five new um, full wall paper books that I will be posting in my Etsy shop today. So let's go ahead and get started. This is book A. It is 17 and a half by 11 and a half inches and has 72 pages in it. All right. So we start out with this really pretty image here that there that comes in several different colors. And then it moves on to this image again, which comes in several colors, which as I say in every video is something I really love about selling the whole wall wallpaper books is that you get all of these um, coordinating images when you have an entire book and you can look how pretty that is Ugh. and you could sort of you know use them put them together um at your discretion look at this blue this robin's egg blue that is gorgeous and you also get florals you get geometric patterns um you know you get lots of different coordinating patterns as well like look how great this would be for summer crafting beachy crafting um, also, this one is very interesting because some of the backs are also darker, um, which I have never seen that before. This is pretty. This appears to have a little bit of a raised um, on that one. Now, this one is a little raised, but very metallic-y. That is super pretty. Gold as well. And this has got another interesting feel to the back. Um, here, this appears to be some sort of a leaf pattern. Um, love that. That's so pretty, unique. And here we go with the navy. That is so pretty. These are some really, really pretty um, images and colors in this one. Honestly, oh my goodness, look at that. That looks like lace. Gorgeous. Um, this one really looks like it could encompass a lot of different styles and a lot of different seasons and times of the year. Um, this is a really, really nice assortment in this book. Oh, look, love that too. There's some that are more boho, more farmhouse. Um, look how gorgeous that is. Um, you guys know I love to use these as um, the covers of signatures in my junk journals because they're so robust and um, you could really do some fun journals um, with these pages for sure. Look at that. That is so cool. Um, that's pretty too. And this looks like it's the last section. You got your gold, your navy, your gray and then kind of your tan. All right, and so that is, like I said, that is book A, 72 pages, and 17 and a half by 11 and a half are the dimensions. All right, so let's move on to B, which is another um, larger 17 and a half by 11 and a half. It is 74 pages. And I do want to say that when I have the pages on there, I go through and count them. So if I miss or add or subtract, I mean, you know, that's approximately that, um, you know, because I go through and try to do a very careful, that's really cool. That looks like an old, like vintage book cover to me, like some of those Tim Holtz kind of um, designs. Oh, that is so cool. So please keep that in mind. It may be off by a page or two, but it's not because I'm trying to, you know, do anything dishonest. Um, oh my goodness. That, look at that. Can you guys see the dimension in that? It almost looks like it's been painted. It's so pretty. Oh, look how cool that is, that double page. Very pretty. Oh, gorgeous. This one you get a full, like a, is that a bird, like a peacock? I'm not sure what that is, but. And then you've got some nice solids that coordinate back, of course, which solids, I love solids, are always great to go with all your different patterns. That's a really pretty metallic. Again, here's some more of your good solids. And this is kind of a good thicker um, piece. Look at that. 
so pretty. Okay. Oh, that's so pretty. Can you guys tell that that's got metallics in it? Really pretty. This one you've got, and when I give a page number, it's total. So these smaller pages count, um, I count them as a page. So um, that's why I like to do these um, flip throughs. Look at that, that is so pretty. Um, just because you can, I love this. This is kind of unusual from what I've seen that you get, you know, two of the same uh, image. That's really gorgeous. Look at that, oh, so pretty. And then here are your coordinating solids. Um, anyway, yeah, that's why I like to do a flip through because then you are seeing exactly, look at that, so pretty, and that's got metallic. You're seeing exactly what you're gonna be um, getting when you receive your wallpaper book in the mail. Okay. And then, so this is the end of this one here. So again, that was book B and it's got 74 pages and it's 17 and a half by 11 and a half. All right, so moving on to book C. Okay, this is a smaller one. It's 15 by nine, but it's got 79 pages in it. These, um, they are referred to as like silk silks and they have a nice sheen and a nice texture to them and there are again lots of different colors in this one and this is a good smaller size for um pages and junk journals which is what you know i primarily use the wallpaper for but look at that that is so pretty um, I love these golds too. They just scream like boho or Christmas. Look at that. Can you guys see that? That is so pretty. Okay, and then you've got these pages here, which have got all your different shades of that. Can you guys see that pattern on there? Let me see if I can fix my lighting a little bit. You can see that a little bit better. Um, okay, and then here you've got some goldy cream neutrals, and oh, look at this pretty white wedding. Can you guys see that on there? So pretty, these designs, these embossed. Um, oh, pretty, look at that page. That is gorgeous. Um, Oh, I love this Harlequin pattern, too. More of the Harlequin. Okay, rose gold. Very pretty. So, let me move my light back over here. It kind of looks like a leaf sort of pattern. All right. And that sort of reminds me of, like, an animal print. I mean, that's just me. <laughs> um, some more stripes, which again are always nice to have. And a oh, pretty damask. More damask again here in the back. And oh, pretty. Look at that color. That's a really pretty. Very pretty. And then you've got your silvery whites in the back. Okay. Yep, one more. There's more. And there's more. Here you go with your more stripes. Okay. And so that is book C. Again, 79 pages and it's 15 by 9 inches. Okay. So we've got two left and they are both gonna be this size. They're gonna be 11 and a half by 11 and a half, 81 pages, and this is book D. And these are gonna be more of that thicker, heavier um, type of wallpaper. Okay, so really good for, you could really do covers with this. 
Um, they are just a thicker, more substantial um, piece. And this size is good if you wanted to do um, make like, what is it, the traveler's notebook size, the refills or whatever. That's really cool. Can y'all see that on there? Um, this is a really good size for that because basically you just have to trim them out of the book. And what I use when I trim um, wallpaper out of the book is that's really pretty. That feels like a, um, like a linen almost. Um, I just use a knife, like a blade, and I just go and you can put a straight edge next to it and it just does a really good clean job and um, then you don't ruin, you don't end up ruining your scissors, making your scissors super dull because, you know, box cutters are um, easy to replace, relatively inexpensive. That's really pretty. So again, more of your neutrals, which are good, like a good journal topper on them. You know, this is good for making like snippets you could actually make great journal toppers out of these because they are substantial. Um, yeah, this is a long book. This is a lot of pages in here. That's pretty. I just love the textures on um, this one. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty too. Again, lots of texture. That's a very cool geometric design. I like that. And that is it for this one. So again, that's D, 81 pages, 11 and a half by 11 and a half. And then I have one more left to show you guys, and it will be book E. And it is 11 and a half by 11 and a half, and it is 74 pages. So again, it's going to be similar to the other one. They're going to be thicker and have um, a lot of really nice texture to them. Very substantial pieces. Um, really pretty colors in this one. You get a little bit, I don't know, it seems like you get a little bit of more pattern in um, this book. But um, to me, they're both equally they're equally lovely. This is nice too, because you have three that really coordinate with each other. So again, like all the work is done there for you, because you could just do, make a project out of those three, and it's very sort of, you know, it's all coordinated and done for you. That's really, really nice to have. Um, I personally love books like that, because I do like my projects to coordinate. All right. And these are different kind of texture here. You could really almost do like collections um, with these in different colors. These are nice. These are individual pages, by the way. Um, that's a fun, that's a fun design. That almost looks like a stone, like cracked. Can you guys see that? Um, and more colors of this design. That's really pretty. I really like that. Oh, this is so pretty. That color is just gorgeous. Kind of a blue green. And that's the end of that book. And so that is book E. And my lovely Pippa, my fair baby just came in here and she's saying hello. So I'll let you guys go, but I will have all of these linked in my Etsy shop, um, which I'll have down below. And also, um, I have one left over from the Pippa from the lot I posted last month. And um, Pippa, I've marked that one down um, by $5 just to, um, you know, get it to its new home a little bit quicker. So y'all take a check at my posting from last month. But I hope y'all have a great day, paper dolls. And Pippa says goodbye too. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.